Good morning everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. Now I ran across my first guest this morning about a month ago and I immediately fell in love with her attitude and just her outlook on life. She is the creator of the online lifestyle magazine Carousing. What exactly is carousing? Well, it is the joy of discovering new ideas, the kind of ideas that make you step out of your comfort zone and see the world a whole new way. Karina, thank you so much for being on with me today. Oh, thanks for having me, Jenna. It's a pleasure. Karina, I'm so excited to have you here this morning because I am such a fan of your writing and your work. Tell us how carousing got started. Jenna, there were a, few, a couple things that really led me in this direction. Um, I'm a Midwestern girl, born and raised, and I chose to go to law school. I went to Case Western Reserve Law School in Cleveland. Um, during the time I was in law school, my mother passed away from cancer when she was only 44, and I was 24. And at the time, I had a nine-year-old brother who I ended up adopting and raising. And through that, I learned a lot about what my mother had been through and the life she had cut short, and that always really impacted me. Mm -hmm. um, I went on to practice law for about 13 years and in Ohio, and then I moved to Florida, and I specialized as a trial lawyer in white-collar criminal defense. Mm -hmm. And along that way, I became very unhappy with what I was doing, but like many people, I felt like, well, I went to school for it, I'm good at it, it pays my bills, and I was a little afraid to give it up. But after 13 years of it, and then I finally had moved to, to Tampa, was traveling back and forth to New York City and such practicing law, and I felt, I'm in this place that I should be so happy professionally. I'm where I always thought I should be, but I was so unhappy. So I started doing a lot of thinking about really what I loved to do. And always, even when I was little, I loved to write. My mom would send me to creative writing camp in the summer. you know. Mm -hmm. So I was so inspired then to feel like maybe I could put the best of all worlds together. I could put my passion for writing and my desire to help people, especially women, I could put that all together in some sort of fun, happy, inspirational way that makes people feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, you've done that. You have Thank created you. that. Because when I read your writings, Karina, I can't help but smile. And there's so many things that you write about that I can relate to. And, and we were talking before, you've gotten such an overwhelming response from women who also can relate to your writing. I have, Jenna, and that actually is what fuels me and keeps me going because I, I love them reaching people. And so my goal of reaching out and helping and inspiring people has been great. Um, I write a lot on the blog, as I'm sure you know, about um, our, our, the women always seem to want perfection. We're always striving for perfection. And I write a lot about, I've learned this from my own experience, there's never a perfect job lover, life, body, haircut, nothing's ever going to be perfect. And the more you strive for that, the less you're, or the more you're putting yourself down. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's a sad place to live when you're always striving for that. So I've had a lot of um, emails and people reach out to me and say how my writing has inspired them and, and sort of, in some ways, brought them to tears because they've realized that they are way too hard on themselves and they're too mean to themselves. And isn't it much better to be gentler with yourself and look at things from a fun, loving perspective mm -hmm. about your life and your body and your job and your career. And, and so that's really what I'm trying to do and I'm honored that it, I'm reaching people that way. Well, you are again. And, and another thing I notice, you kind of have a theme too, it's to live fearlessly. Don't have so much fear, you know, be bold, be right. courageous. Yes. And, and I love that too. Well, thank you. And the thing I feel about that is I ask people a lot when I'm out with them having a glass of wine or um, at dinner or I meet women who come up to me and say that they read my lifestyle magazine and I, and I, I want to get to the bottom of how do you process fear? We all have fear. Fear is something that's, that's natural but it, it could, should not inhibit you from doing things and I felt that I lived you know, quite a few years of my life through fear of giving up my law practice and fear of moving into this greater realm. And if you, I think if you give the, up that fear or you learn how to process it and understand that it's an energy that moves through you and fuels you to go farther, I think that's where we all need to get. 
And I think that that's really a message I like to put out there because mm -hmm. I've done it and it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you seem very happy, so it obviously ha has worked for you. A and you are happy in your life right now, aren't you, Karina? I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. And the more I do the things that I'm afraid of, the more happiness I feel because I feel that the more fear you have of trying something new, that means you need to do it all the more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's something that's going to get you out of your comfort zone. And you're not going to experience the, beautiful, the beautifulness of being a, tr a, a, a human being truly fulfilled unless you break out of that fear. Mm -hmm. Let's give our viewers a little bit more soul food. This morning, Karina, something I ran across in your blog was a journal. It was like five steps to practicing gratitude. Could you kind of give us an overview on that? Right, so I came across the five minute journal uh, when I was at an event in Toronto and I met the two men who wrote the, who put together the journal and it was so inspiring to me and I started using it myself. And what it taught me is, is that gratitude is the number one way you can fuel your own happiness the number one way. If you're not happy and grateful for what you currently have, it, it doesn't matter what is going to be handed to you, what God or what the universe brings to you, it's not gonna, you're not going to be grateful for that either. So we really need to dig deep into that. So what I love about this journal is, is that it takes five minutes a day, it's the five minute journal, three minutes in the morning, two minutes at night, always before you get out of bed and always right before you go to sleep. And you are really, they encourage you to write down three things you're grateful for. Um, they also ask what would make today great. And also two affirmations, which I really love. So you name three things you're grateful for and two affirmations might be, I'm very smart. I'm, I'm happy today. So you pick affirmations and I'm a big firm believer in affirmations too, because I think that you create, you create what you think. Mm -hmm. So um, I love that practice of the gratitude journal during the day. And then before you go to sleep at night, it's also, um, oh, I love this, name three amazing things that happened today. Well, you really have to dig deep because mm -hmm. maybe you just, you know, you had a, a slow day at your house. And it's amazing when you think about how little things actually are amazing. Mm -hmm. And so I love that too. I love that you, they really make you think about every ordin ordinary everyday things that can be amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and I have tried this and I'm going to continue doing it because it does work. Right. It, really being thankful is key to just an overall happier lifestyle. Right. So I, could, I couldn't agree more. Karina, I love being able to talk with you and I am really looking forward to having you back on in the future. I think your soul food that you have for people is just, it's awesome and it, and it just creates a spark so thank you so much for coming on this morning and if you want more information on Karina if you want to check out her writing just check out her website on the bottom of the screen thank you again for being with me this Thanks, morning Jenna. It was a pleasure. I'm gonna take a quick break right now I'll be right back after these messages <laughs>